Okay, I'm back with the uh, Zillia virus scan on the AS Rock Windows 7 system. Got a few more hits here. Uh, <coughs> the uh, I'm trying to get to where I can use my mouse. First one I already talked about the uh, uh, GS Win 32 adware software, and the uh, Second one, I don't know, I can't hold my phone, can I? The second one is uh, CamSpace install, $8.99. CamSpace is a webcam app that I've used before. I don't use them too much, but it says it has tool load money when 32655. They've all been skipped, 655. And then this one, Screenshot Capture, that's a screenshot tool that I used to use. But it's not the actual, that's the directory it's in. Tools, Color, it's Color Cop Execute. It says it has a Trojan Download Assistant. So maybe that's just uh, one of those, you know, add-on things they tried to download, tried to get you to download without realizing it. That wasn't actually you know malware but it says Trojan so that don't sound good either uh, but I've kind of noticed that a lot of those downloaders are called Trojans you know that sometimes even the person that writes the software will tell you you know this is the explanation of why that comes up but you don't know for sure especially when your system's messed up if your system's got symptoms like mine did, <coughs> automatically open up for a Firefox and go into a web page and all, all that junk. Uh, because these are all in the downloads folder, all three of these. Picasa, old old build of Picasa. They don't, they don't even Google doesn't even support Picasa anymore. It says it has backdoor poison when 32 so and so numbers. So <coughs> I don't know why it's skipped actually. Maybe at the end it'll ask me what to do with them. But uh, all those are in my downloads folder. You know, they can be deleted. No big deal. I do remember that when I went to installing a bunch of my webcam apps that I had downloaded over the years. And some, a bunch of them I never even tried out. <laughs> I started on my, uh, that was on my uh, Dell 1525 laptop. Several of them, I mean like three, four, five of them popped up with uh, different things. A lot of it was AdWare stuff and all that, but... It sounded bad enough I didn't want them, so I deleted them. I thought I deleted all the ones that had problems. So that's the other uh, place where I thought maybe all this got started. Uh, and I, But I didn't think I had anything, uh, you know, that, that all happened before I built this system and set it up. So I thought I had it all figured out and cleaned up, but... <coughs> cam space. What is cam space? I can't remember exactly what it is. Oh! You know, I think that might be the one <coughs> that you can control your computer with a, with your webcam with any object. It's not an actual webcam. It is a webcam app, but you can get it. You, you install the application if this is it, and you uh, and you uh, you can pick up a pen. You use your finger. You can and, and you, whatever you want, and you can control the mouse on your computer. It's kind of cool. Uh, it was actually an app made to help people. Uh, with limited uh, uh, mobility, you know, and uh, I think if one of them you could uh, you could track your head, track your face, you know, you could just move, you could move your head r right and left, up and down, and it would make the uh, mouse move, and then you could kind of set it to where you nod. If you nodded a little bit, it would uh, click and double click and all that, you know. And it really worked. Of course, it was. You know, of course, it's easy for me to use a mouse, so I didn't continually use it. But for some people, it would make them be able to use a computer where otherwise they couldn't. And I think that's what it is. And oddly enough, it comes from a game maker, Cam Space Games, I believe is why I remember that. And it was always, uh, it had all these games that you could download from within the app. So, uh, and I think some of them were free and some of them cost money. And uh, so, you know, tool load money. Is that what's in that? <coughs> yeah, that's the one with tool load money. 
So maybe that's the explanation for that. But the one that says Trojan Downloader and Backdoor Poison, that just sounds like a re regular virus. But it's in Picasa. But that doesn't mean it originally had that one I downloaded. You got, I always keep, oh yeah, I tend to forget. But there's ways that some of these, um, these Trojans and viruses and malware can worm their way into uh, programs th that you you know you already have on your computer executable files like they're already there they're already they're clean but then they can worm their way into them because of a backdoor uh, accidental or on purpose that's in the program you know uh, or a vulnerability probably be a better way to say it but <coughs> but um it's a 49 percent done now and I, s and I thought i'd check on it and uh and that's where it is now. Let's see. Exhausted time. One hour and 42 minutes. Found four threats. Okay, so it's just working away. But doggone it. <coughs> um, I expected this one to maybe come up clean. And all it did was find different things in different files. So there seems to be no end. And th but the thing is, all these files... Not all of them, but a lot of these files are files that are on my backup server that I, you know, I thought were good, and I, I've, but I've really, uh, other than scanning them with like a vast, or generally a vast, when I put, you know, I copy them over to the Windows system, scan them with a vast, and map, usually malware bytes or spy bot, search and destroy before I install them, and they're all fine, you know. I, I, anything I find that's bad, I delete it, and, uh, uh, but so now I'm thinking how many files are still on my Linux server not hurting that but if I take them and put them on a Windows machine they're going to do this you know so and they all uh, like I was saying before the only thing I've got to scan with is clam AV but and it's a good one <coughs> but uh, takes more than one so right I, I'm gonna have to sit down and figure out write down how many which every one of them I've used just to show how many and I've used in all the I, I won't be able to find and list all the different vulnerabilities it found actually if I was going to do well I did it I mean I guess I've showed it in the videos you know I think I've done pretty good about doing that but uh, just crazy worse than ever of course I knew that what was it 2015 the year of the hack they called it or something uh, so you know the last two three four years has really been just unbelievable amount of vulnerabilities found in everything you know from uh, PC software to server software you know phones Android Mac Linux Unix Windows everything of course the worst the most attacked is Windows so it looks like the most vulnerable but uh, there's, you know, people, uh, there's always an argument to be made about is it more vulnerable than the others or is it just more attack? But uh, I'll leave that to the coders to decide. So anyway, it's done. I'll come back when it's done. Bye.